Hello children. So uh, in the last video we were uh, seeing about algebraic expressions and we saw what are constants and variables, what is an algebraic expression uh, and the terms of an algebraic expression. What do you mean by the terms, factors, coefficients and like and unlike terms. Uh, all these things we were seeing in the last video. Hope you are all clear with this. Now today we are going to see about uh, four types of expressions. Okay. First one is monomial. Second one is binomials. Third one is trinomial. And the fourth one is polynomial. Now, what is monomial? Monomial means we will have only one term in the expression. That is for example 6x or 8xy. All these things are monomial expressions. That is we will have only one term here. Okay. And then next one is binomial expression. What do you mean by bi? Bi means two. So binomial expression means we will have two terms. Okay. So for example, 6x plus 7 or 8xy plus 7y. All these things are binomial expressions. That is we will have two terms. Since bi means two, we will have two terms in the expression. And the third one is trinomial expression. Trinomial means we will have three terms. 6x square plus 7x plus 2. Okay. Or 7x square plus 6xy plus 5. All these things are trinomial expressions okay they it will have three terms polynomial means nothing but either it will be monomial or binomial or trinomial that is it will have one or more than one terms so all these things are examples of polynomial expression okay either it will have one term or more than one term okay that is called polynomial okay now let's go into the next topic that is addition and subtraction of algebraic expression okay addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions Okay, now take for example 3x plus 4x. Okay, this is one expression 3x plus 4x. So, what is what can you uh, see in this expression? These two terms are like terms, that is, they have the same variable part, right? So, how will you do this? You can do it as x into 3 plus 4 that is equal to 7x. So, this is the simplest example which can which I can tell you in the addition of an expression. Okay. Now, from this we can see that if they if if two like terms are to be added, we can just put the variable and we can add these two coefficients and the coefficient of the result will be the added value of the coefficients of these two terms. Okay. So, the variable, we just have to put the variable here and we have to add the two coefficients and write the answer. Okay. So, what can you see in this? If you add two like terms, the answer will also be like, right? So, this x, this variable here is x, the variable here is x and here also the variable part is x. 
okay now what will happen if you add two unlike terms 3x plus 4y can you add these two 3 plus 4 7 no because the terms here are different right they are unlike terms they are not like terms so it will remain the same okay 3x plus 4y you cannot simplify further okay so did you understand how to add and add like terms and unlike terms now we will take another example for example Three x plus eleven plus two x plus five. This is one term. This is one expression. This is another expression. Okay. So we are supposed to add these two expressions. Okay. So how to go about it? We'll see. First, we have to remove these brackets. Okay. So three x plus eleven plus two x plus five. So how will you do this? 3x plus 2x is 5x. 5x plus 16 is the answer. Okay. Now let's see what will happen if you have a minus term here. That is 3x plus 11 minus 2x plus 5. How will you do this? So in this similar way, you have to remove these brackets. So 3x plus 11 minus 2x plus what will happen to this plus when you are removing this bracket? This minus into plus will become minus. Okay. So, inside the, if, if there is a plus sign inside the bracket and the minus sign outside the bracket, when you are removing the bracket, this plus will become minus because minus into plus is minus. Okay. So, minus 5. Then, how will you simplify this? 3x minus 2x is 1x or x. 11 minus 5 is plus 6. So, x plus 6 is the answer. Okay. So, did you understand how to do this? Now, let's see another example. 3. Subtract a minus b from 3a minus b plus 4. Okay. So, this is the question. Subtract a minus b from 3a minus b plus 4. So, how will you write it? Is it like a minus b minus 3a minus b plus 4? No. For example, take subtract 2 from 5. 2 if you, if you are doing subtract 2 from 5 will you write 2 minus 5 or 5 minus 2 it is 5 minus 2 right from 5 you have to subtract 2 so similarly subtract a minus b from 3a minus b plus 4 means 3a minus b plus 4 minus a minus b ok so 3a minus b plus 4 minus a. What will happen to this minus? Here there is a minus outside the bracket and there is a minus sign inside the bracket. So if you remove the brackets, you will get minus into minus is plus. 3a minus b plus 4 minus a plus b. Okay. Now 3a, what are the like terms here? 3a minus a so what is 3a minus a 2a okay this we have simplified 2a now what are the other like terms minus b plus b what is minus b plus b 0 you just have to cancel it and then the remaining term is 4 so this is the answer 2a plus 4 okay is it clear now let's do a little bit bigger sum subtract 16ab minus 24b plus 10a 
minus 11 from 24AB plus 10B minus 12A plus 10. Okay. So, how will you write it similarly? You have to write it as, first you have to write the second term. 24AB plus 10B minus 12A plus 10 minus within bracket 16AB minus 24B plus 10A minus 11. Okay. So, next step is we have to simplify this. So, 24AB plus 10B minus 12A plus 10 minus, if you remove this bracket, 16AB, this minus will become minus into minus plus, plus 24B, again this plus will become minus into plus, minus, minus 10A, again this minus into minus will give plus, plus 11. Okay, now how, how, what, which are all the like terms here? 24AB minus 16AB. What is 24 minus 16? 8. So, 8AB, let's cancel this to avoid confusion. Okay, so we have done this 24AB minus 16AB, 8AB. Now, what is the other like term? 10B plus 24B. 34 plus 34B. Let's cancel this. We have already done this. Okay. Plus 34B. Now next is minus 12A minus 10A minus 22A minus 12 minus 10 means minus 22. Okay. Now the next is the constant term 10 plus 11 that is 21. Okay. So this is the answer. Okay. Now hope you are all thorough with this. You are all clear with this. It is quite easy. You just have to practice. Because if you don't practice, there is a chance that you will make some careless mistake somewhere. Okay. Now the next topic is value of an expression. This is also very easy. value of an expression. Now value of an expression means for the variable in the expression they would have given a value. Okay. So we, we, we were uh, while starting the chapter I was discussing uh, uh, an example of uh, um, how many kids uh, I mean each kid who is going to come to your birthday party is getting uh, two balloons each. So uh, if there are, we were uh, taking the number of kids who are coming for the birthday party as X, right? So, for this X, if they are telling you that X is equal to 10, that is 10 kids are coming for the birthday party, you can directly find the value of the expression, right? So, how many balloons you, you would have given if 10 kids are coming for your birthday party? That means that 10 into 2, since we are giving 2 balloons to each kid, 10 into 2 is 20, Right. So, this is the answer. So, this is exactly what we are going to do in the value of an expression. Okay. So, this is the value of this 2x. Okay. They will ask what is the value of 2x when x equal to 10. So, you just have to substitute x here and then 10 into 2 is equal to 20. That is the answer. Okay. This is, this is the same thing which we are going to do here in the value of the expression. For example, let's take a sum, find the value of 6x square minus 10x plus 5 if x equal to 2. So, they have already given the value of x is 2, right? So, you just have to substitute this 2 here and find the value. That's it, very easy. 6 into 2 square minus 10 into 
2 plus 5 that is 6 into what is 2 square 4 minus 10 into 2 is 20 plus 5 what is 6 into 4 6 4 is 24 24 minus 20 plus 5 that is 4 plus 5 equal to 9 so that value of the expression here is 9 9 is your answer ok so it is very easy now let's see an example another example find the value of 10x plus 5y if x equal to 1 y is equal to 2 so they have given the value of x and the value of y the same thing you just have to substitute the values here 10 into 1 plus 5 into 2 that is 10 plus 10 equal to 20 that's it okay so this is the value of this is how you find the value of an expression okay hope you are clear till now now in the next video i will try to solve some uh, ex exercise problems for you okay thank you bye bye